Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here and welcome to another TCR Classic Reborn guide. Uh, a couple of days ago I made a full setup guide and at the very end of it I pinned on a texture pack guide and I'm like, you know what? It's all the way at the end of the video. Most people watching the video only want to know about the texture so I'll make a texture specific guide on how to install the textures for Tekka Classic Reborn. Now this is using this fax pack. To download it, all you gotta do, and I'll have the links in the description, head on over to tcreborn.co Click on resources, find the pack you're looking for, let's go with, we'll go with 64. Click on download down here, and actually, funny story, I did this wrong in my original setup guide, and Tinkeo, or Tinseo, actually went through the website and changed the website to make my guide correct. So thank you so much, bud, you're awesome. All you gotta do to download the patch is click right here, and it'll take you over to our page. That is not an AdFly link, they don't have an AdFly link. Uh, it'll start downloading. Go ahead and close that. Hop on over to pdcraft.net. Again, link in the description. Go to your downloads. Scroll on down here, and you can choose to use vanilla, grunge, or pure BDCraft. I think pure BDCraft's gonna look the best with the patches. Scroll down till you find 64 uh, by 64, or whatever one you chose. If you chose 32 by 32, or 128 by 128, choose that one. Find your Minecraft version. In this case, we're using 1.7.10. Click download. And this one will take you to an AdFly link because uh, BDCraft, this is this is how they make their money, is with AdFly. And I've tried AdFly in the past. They don't make a whole lot of money, let me tell you that right now. Go ahead and skip ad, and it should automatically start downloading. There you go. So we can pretty much close up out of here. We're done there. Hop on over, go to your downloads, whether you're on Mac or PC, doesn't matter. Go to your download section or wherever you downloaded it to. Uh, this does work on both, but again, I'm too lazy to delete all the stuff off my PC and then to do the tutorial and then add it all back. So we're just on the Mac again. This will work on PC as well though. Easiest thing to do, go to your um, options, resource pack, open resource pack folder. There's your resource pack folder. And then just take these two guys here. They're both still zipped. You've got the patch from Te uh, Tekka Classic Reborn and you've got your Sfax patch. Grab them both, drag them over here. Kit done, nothing's gonna happen because what we're basically doing is just reloading the resource pack thing. Go back, it'll now recognize that they're both in there. Again, they're both still zipped, we haven't unzipped them, and we haven't combined them. A lot of people ask, how do you combine the textures? You don't have to do that anymore. Mojang has finally caught up with the times. All you gotta do is add them both. You don't have to, but I would recommend making sure TCR official patch is on top of Sfax Pure BD Craft. Doesn't have to, but uh, I would recommend it. And basically, this is just a tiered system, right? So you have your default, and then if there's anything to replace the defaults, you put them up here. And of course, we want to replace all the defaults with the pure DD craft. And then we put the patch on top. Doesn't matter in this case, as long as defaults at the bottom, which is where it's always going to be. Hit done. It's going to take a little while based on how powerful your computer is to sort of reskin the launcher and get everything geared up and ready to go. Now, if you're doing this, I do recommend you go to your settings. And again, I'll link the setup guide down below where you can see how to increase your RAM settings and uh, things like that. So follow the setup guide. If you load a texture pack, you get into a game, it's really choppy, it's not working that well. Check that out, it'll show you how to allocate more RAM, which will definitely help with these higher-end texture packs. But there you go, we've installed it, it's all skinned up. If we log into this world, we'll take a look around us and you can see that it's probably gonna be kind of choppy because I haven't actually optimized my game for the, uh, the new textures, but you'll see that they're definitely installed and they're working. Come on, game! Come on, I got faith in you, just load up! Come on, game, you can do it! There we go! Takes a little while, but yeah, it's all loaded up, and it is working, more or less. And actually, if I went full screen with it, it would work better. Not sure what's up with that. I don't play on the Mac anyway, though, so I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna hop off, and I hope you folks have enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have any questions, comment down below. If they were covered in the video, I'll just tell you to watch the video again. I'm not gonna answer questions I've already talked about. Uh, and again, check down below for the download links, as well as a link to my setup guide, and a link to the Tekka Classic um, Lite version that you can download as well, Tekka Classic Reborn Lite. And I think that pretty much covers it. Bye, folks.